I would say your IQ gets your foot in the door, but your emotional and social intelligence, so EQ and SQ, are what decides whether you get a seat at the table. So even if you have exceptional technical skills, if you can't communicate well and you can't read a room or the emotions of others, you will never excel on your own merits if you do not have those emotional and social skills. So learning those skills should be something that everyone cares about when they get out into the working world and really before. I know I got all the way through university and was never taught to care about my emotional or social skills really at all. There was no formal education, no even walking past it in any of my schooling that I can recall. So this left me when I got into the working world to come to this on my own. There was a guy at one of the offices that I worked at who passed away at the office. This is an inflection point for me. And it really brought to mind that nobody was coming to save me. And it was in this moment that I decided to take it upon myself to go start to work on my social skills, develop my professional network, as well as learning how to look inside and have the self-awareness to understand my emotions better too. It took several years for me to unravel an emotional mask that I had put on around that time. But once I did, I saw that that mask was never really necessary. And I just really needed to do the inner work to have the confidence and authenticity to embrace the darker parts of my psyche and have the confidence to own it. And in this way, I come across very authentic because I am being very authentic. I act with high integrity all the time and I'm working on my social and communication skills literally daily. I'm getting to the point now where I could be having a conversation with someone and I'm active listening so well that I could finish their sentences. So I'm paying attention and finish people's sentences. And this could be a person that I've only known for a little while. And I don't actually finish their sentence because that would be stepping on them. See, I'm literally showing you some social awareness in real time. So I could finish their sentence, but I'm choosing not to because I want to let them speak and give them the space to speak. This is exactly what I'm talking about here. You just saw it in real time. And these are the type of skills that you really need to start paying attention to. And when you do this, you can start to really get ahead in your technical career, which sounds crazy, I know, that you should care more about emotional and social skills than you should about your technical skills? That sounds crazy. But go and look at the people that are in your technical organization that are at the top and see what they have to do in their day to day. They probably have to manage people and plans and politics. And you think those are technical skills? I think they might be something else. I trust you've been paying attention to this emotional intelligence video thus far. I want to help you pay even better attention to your emotional and social intelligence by clicking the link below this video and scheduling a free call with me. On the call, we'll come up with a personalized plan for you to start getting bigger raises, faster promotions, and stronger relationships with everyone around you. Don't delay, click that link below and schedule a call with me today.